In this video, we're going to talk about how we can use electrons to protect us from 5G and other electromagnetic pollution. In a previous video, we talked about how cells are like tiny batteries, and it's true, they are. But they're also like tiny capacitors. A battery stores energy with chemicals. A capacitor stores energy with membranes. And it's this capacitor energy that we're going to talk about today. In a healthy cell, there are more electrons on the inside of the cell than the outside. The differential is about 70 millivolts. And the cell uses this charge to bring nutrients into the cell and push toxins out. Unfortunately, our environment is such that we've been losing this charge. And so the cell has less energy to do what it needs to do. Why is this happening? In a natural environment, in a perfect world, the water we drink cascades down from pristine mountain streams and is full of electrons. So we get electrons from the water we drink. The air is continually recharged by lightning storms and by the electrons from the solar wind. So the air we breathe is full of electrons. And when we walk on the ground, the electrons come up from the earth and into our body through our meridians and into our organs and cells. But that's not the world we live in. The water we drink is often reclaimed sewage water that's been treated in municipal water treatment plants with flocculants that remove all of the electrons as part of their water purification process. The air we breathe is also far removed from what it should be. The abundance of electrons that would be in the air are gone because every time they interact with the pollution in the atmosphere, they become neutralized. And since there is more pollution than free electrons, even the air is now positively charged. And finally, we don't walk barefoot on the ground or spend much time touching the earth at all. We wear rubber-soled shoes that are non-conductive and walk on carpets. So actually, we're losing electrons through our feet and our skin. The chemical battery part of our cells, that's the ATP produced by mitochondria, will try to make up for the lack of charge in the membranes. But this is a temporary measure. And over time, eventually, then the chemical batteries of our cells will become depleted, as well as the capacitor side. This lack of charge, this loss of mitochondrial power, is actually what many scientists now believe is the cause of most aging and disease. The electron charger was designed to help with these issues. So, what happens when you put free electrons into the skin? Well, we know that like repels like. So, if there's a negative charge in the skin, that will push the negative charge that has gotten outside of the cells back into the cells. We also know that opposites attract. That means that the negative charge on our skin will pull the positive charge that was in the cells back out. In other words, if we apply a negative charge to the surface of our body, we can recover our capacity and capacitance in our cells. We can recharge the cells. We're doing the exact opposite of what our modern environment is doing. The modern environment pulls electrons out, the electron charger puts them back in. Once we've recharged our cellular membranes, our capacitors, our mitochondria are free to do what they are designed to do, to run the machinery of the cell. They're not asked to go into emergency mode and spend some of their energy recharging our capacitors. And in this way, we're protected from things like 5G and electromagnetic pollution. The electron charger is designed to push the electrons back inside the cells, giving them a negative charge, and the positive charge goes to the outside of the body. But remember, opposites attract. So if your skin is positively charged, it's going to want to attract electrons. And you can give it electrons from the machine, but also from nature. So when you do this, not only do you recharge the capacitors of your cells,
but you actually get a mantle around the outside of your body, an electron field. And this field can protect us from things like 5G and modern electronics. Let's start with modern electronics. We know that it's not healthy to live or work under the high tension power lines. The reason this is, is because when electricity moves through a wire, it creates uh, a positive field around the wire. Electrons get vacuumed away from the vicinity. And so the high tension power lines are areas of enormous electron deficiency. This is why it's so unhealthy to live or work underneath these high power lines. But the same is true for household electronics and other things that use electricity. They all will pull electrons off of us. Here, let me show you a few examples. There it is. We come closer. And you can see. Bam. <laughs> yeah, they're just, they're just pulling electrons off like crazy. Yeah. Okay, we're going to turn the electron charger on to its lowest power setting. And we've got the meter on its least sensitive setting. And let's see what happens. Oh, all right. Yeah, we get within six inches of it, and it already pegs the meter. That's how many electrons are coming off of this. We live in an electronic world we're going to be exposed to keypads and phones. So how do we handle this? Well, if we have recovered our cell capacitors and we have a strong charge, then when we're near or touching electronic devices and they try to pull electrons out of us, they can't because our charge is so strong that we're holding on to our electrons. Now let's talk about 5G. 5G is the microwave transmission that new cell phones and cell towers are using in order to increase the amount of data that they can send in a certain time period. Unfortunately, microwaves are not good for us, and the 5G companies are in the process of turning our entire planet into a microwave oven. What can we do? Well, Fortunately, the 5G companies have inadvertently told us exactly what to do. One of the things that cities and towns are doing uh, under the uh, advice of the 5G companies is they're cutting down their beautiful old trees along their streets because they tell the cities and towns that the 5G won't get through the tree. Now, wait a minute. Are you telling me that the 5G signal will be blocked by some leaves, but make it through a steel and concrete building just fine? That doesn't make sense. It's not the, tr the leaves that are stopping the 5G, in my scientific opinion. It's the electrons around the leaves. You see, the tree, when it's alive, is pulling electrons out of the earth. And if you could see the electrons, on the tree, it would look like a shimmering cloud of light around it. It's this electron field that I believe is stopping the 5G and why they want to cut down the trees. This happens by a principle called Compton scattering. And physics tells us that when incoming radiation, in this case microwave, hits free electrons, the electrons can absorb some of that energy and then radiate it back out at a lower wavelength, which would be less damaging to us. I think that's what the trees are doing. The 5G signal is hitting the electrons on the outside of the tree, and the electrons are absorbing them, vibrating a little, and then scattering them. The military does something very similar with its stealth planes. In order to avoid enemy radar, they'll surround the plane with ionization so that when the radar comes and hits the plane, again, through Compton scattering, it's absorbed and then reflected back out again so that the radar can't pick it up. 
Well, if force fields are good enough for our military planes, they're good enough for us too. If you're getting good results with another kind of electronic technology, by all means, stay with it. But use the electron charger after to put the electrons back in that it inadvertently will take out of you. While everyone I've met is electron deficient, it is possible to overcharge your batteries. So in the beginning, you're going to want to use it at higher power and for longer amounts of time. But as time goes on, you'll need lower power for less time and less frequently. If you ever feel over-energized, too energized, too energetic, just take a couple of days off. If you have any questions about how to use this technology in your medical clinic or with your family, feel free to call. And as always, good health to you.